Hello and welcome to Lauren's Travels. This is another Halloween in July vlog where I bring you to some creepier spots here in the Orlando area. And I'm starting out with Prometheus Estoterica, which is here inside of Winter Park. So not too far from the Orlando area. And everything I show you is going to be real or made by local artists. So come along. The company has been around for about two years now and everything you see here is real. I am very excited to check out this storefront and I'll actually be moving close by to this area so be coming up more often. We've got some ghost hunting books here and some little fossils and skulls. It looks like they've got some cute prints here too. Let's see what this one is. So cute. Aww. And this machine looks familiar uh, from the Carousel of Progress with the uh, it goes around the waist <laughs> to kind of make you slim your waist. I don't think they ever worked. And this is the closest I will ever be to a lion. This caught my eye right away with the teeth and the uh, moon there in the middle tiara. And they also have some uh, bracelets and things like that down here as well. They actually have uh, hair dyes here, so I see the different colors. And I like the uh, gems in the middle, the sea witch one. It's like a nice dark blue. They also sell some coffee from uh, Coffee Shop of Horrors, which I know is out in Tavares, um, and they have all different kinds of spooky blends. So you can have some here or take some home with you. So I made it back home and I ended up picking up the Boogie's Nightmare Brew, which has butterscotch toffee flavor. So excited to try that. And they were beans, but they can grind them up for you if you need. I also picked up these stickers because I collect stickers. Um, I'm actually gonna give one of these away. I'm sending out surprise packages to some of my subscribers. So I'm including that in there. Um, but yeah, in true Halloween style, this is going to be a Frankenstein vlog. So I'm going to be filming another day and sharing more spooky adventures with you for Halloween in July. I am at, at home and I am checking out, they have some Halloween out right now. These are some of the outdoor decor they have set up here. And then this one is the big giant spider for a hundred dollars. It's a little big. And here are some of the doormats they have. I really like the witches in one. <laughs> this is one of the first stores I see uh, that has Halloween out. July is usually when stores start to put out some Halloween stuff. So I just wanted to share what they have here. This is more of a fall aisle, but lots of glass pumpkins. And here we go, some Halloween. They have uh, Halloween gnomes. Lots of stuff that you can put outside. And lots of witchy things, which we always like. Don't love this frog too much. <laughs> What'd you find? So this is a leading candle. So you oh. light it and the red like comes out of the skull. Extra spooky. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Got some Halloween lights here, LED ones. Got some spooky spiders that hang down. Here are some gargoyles. Those would look really cool on a table and some witches' shoes, of course, pumpkins, all kinds of pumpkins. This Medusa-like wreath here. And a lot of these decorations have glitter, 
So a fun way <laughs> to kind of keep the glitter from not going all over your house is to just easily spray some uh, hairspray and that kind of keeps the glitter locked in place. They're still putting out the Halloween. So this aisle kind of just belongs to these ghosts and some skeleton bones here too. So here's a better look at some of these spooky gnomes and some more skulls. And then on this side, they have some more cutesy Halloween things. So some candy corn candles. They've got candy corn sachets, little pumpkins and witches. Loving all of the spooky, spooky things. <laughs> They've got this awesome cat bowl here. And these look like they're the mascots for at home spooky stuff this year. The little cat has some fangs. There's a little blue witch. Super cute. And I tried to light this up earlier, but it doesn't look like it's working yet. But this looks really cool. I think they might move around or light up. And some more pumpkins and a Halloween tree. Super adorable. Let's see if this lights up. It does. So cute. And here are some wreaths and wall decor and a spooky hook <laughs> with a chain. And then right when you walk in, they have the inflatables. So here are some, they're really not bad on pricing. And I'll give you a look at all of the different ones they have. Uh, I'm in an apartment, so I can't put a spooky uh, witch spider outside. But yeah, there are some really great options. They have a little wiener dog and also a skeleton dragon. And they also have some Disney ones, which I'm about to show you here. But these look so cool, these giant ones. And then here are some Jack Skellington ones. They also have Oogie Boogie and Zero and Sally. So if you are Nightmare Before Christmas fans, the prices are about $30 each for these smaller ones. And that is all of the Halloween at, at home. Yay! Oh my gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> This is the bathroom hallway. They have tons of classic pop horror movie posters. Let me know in the comments which one's your favorite. There's so many. And look at these sinks. Amazing. And you're probably wondering where I got this beautiful strawberry whiskey drink, and I'm about to show you the coolest speakeasy that's actually inside of Cocktails and Screams. She makes custom potions for you. Oh, fancy. So you tell her the alcohol you like. Like, tequila, but people crazy like vodka, rum, whatever. <laughs> yeah. And then the flavor profile you're going for, she custom cracks it for you. Okay. Okay. There's no photography or video back here, no. but you pick the card for me. Everything is super well themed inside of this bar. I mean, even the way that they make the cocktails all just seems like magic. My first drink was the Witch's Brew, which tastes exactly like apple pie. I really enjoyed it. The prices are 12 to 14, or even a little bit more, depending on what you order. 
the night that we went, there was a piano singer uh, where you could actually send her request through Venmo and she would play what you wanted to play. We actually ended up sending her a request to play some Billie Eilish. I do recommend getting to the bar early because it gets very crowded very quickly. Uh, we arrived around 8 o'clock and I think that was a good time to come because when we were leaving there was a huge line outside of the door. These are just a few of the cocktails my friends and I ordered that night. My friend Ron ended up getting the Bone Daddy which was really good. It tasted exactly like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Cocktails and Screams is in downtown Orlando. There are parking garages that are close by for you to park in. And just a heads up that they do not serve food only on Sundays when they have their brunch. Let me know if you've been to any of these spooky locations before or if you're planning to. And I hope you liked my Halloween in July vlog. I am very excited for spooky season. I have a lot of fun things planned. So make sure you're subscribed for more spooky content and I'll see you next time on Lauren's Travels. Happy Halloween!